Welcome to the Mikasa Sukasa podcast, hosted by Lisa Sines, powered by Verly. This is where we interview top business professionals, industry leaders, operational managers, and thought leaders from around the nation, diving into hot current topics to help you experience Mikasa Sukasa. Well, Brad, thank you for being on the podcast today. Hey, yeah, absolutely. I appreciate you being here. Hey, thanks. And we were actually, we were just talking about your last name, which I think it's fun to say, Harushka. Yes. Harushka. I like that. Brad Harushka. Yep. And uh, you said that was Czech, right? It I was is. getting ready to guess, maybe like Russian or something. It sounds Yeah. You know, growing up in school and stuff, people assumed it was Russian, but no, it's Czech. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, welcome to America. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. (laughs) Well, I was having you on the show because I know just a little bit about you, and hopefully that's what we're going to do is learn more about you on the the show today. But I thought you had something, and you had, I'd read something about you that I thought was very relatable to a lot of people, and it was that, and you can clarify or point me in the right direction if I read something wrong, but you are doing something now that you initially, when you started off in like your professional adult career, as we all do, what are we going to be when we grow up? You ended up thinking you were going to do one thing and ended up doing something completely different. <laughs> Absolutely. And yeah. I think that is, like I said, very relatable to, if not all of us, to many of us. Oh, I think a lot of uh, college graduates, when you know, when you go into college, you you dream to aspire to be what have you. Right. And life doesn't roll that way sometimes or one's interests change. Exactly. You know? So yeah, like you, <laughs> I was disciplined to be a high school English teacher mm-hmm. and I loved teaching and I loved working with students and I, I loved everything about it. But I just, you know, it just... I wanted something different. I wanted to do something different, Mm -hmm. but I wanted to work with kids and I also wanted to work with literature. Uh And so this kind of, you know, fell into place for me and, you know, through God's grace, I'm here now. Awesome. Because you are the uh, librarian for the children's uh, library, right? Here in Columbus. Yep. Children's Mm -hmm. services librarian. Right. So is there a, like just a totally different section for just children's Mm -hmm. library? And then there's the regular Regular yes. library, like yep, adult yep. library. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, we we definitely have the same uh, ways that the collection grows and, and changes and such. But yeah, there is a children's area mm-hmm. for nonfiction, chapter books or novels, if you will, and then graphic novels now yes. and then picture books. And mm-hmm. yeah, so it's it's kind of a fun area. Yeah. And how did you end up doing that? Because like <laughs> you said, it was kind of something along the lines that you wanted to do. Mm-hmm. So um, again, not completely out of left field, sure. but- well, I my first official library job was at the Schuyler Public Library, uh-huh. and I was the assistant director and children's librarian there. And I was there but six months, and then the director at the time, uh, Robert Troutwine, um, caught, reached out to me and asked me if I'd be interested in the position here in Columbus because they had a youth services opening. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, well, I, I guess, okay, you know. Mm-hmm. And so I applied and I interviewed and I got it. And so, oh, mm-hmm. nice. Because you so, guys, yeah. you live here then, right? My, my wife and I, yes, we awesome. do. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Yeah, well, good. So I guess I always think of, <clears throat> and I guess maybe it's kind of like a stereotype, but you think of a, you know, a school librarian, someone that's like maybe a little older with a little cardigan sweater, or maybe someone, I always think of like the a preschool teacher out of like it. Uh, Billy Madison, that's yep. kind of a little weird, but <laughs> quirky, yeah, but yeah. fun. And you don't seem like that at all. But no, I, just I, getting I, to speak with you a little bit, you seem very just like bubbly. And- oh, I am. I'm I'm quirky. I'm fun. But I also, um, I have a professional side. And, you know, I kind of ride the professional aspect of things and such. But, oh, yeah, I have, I have a lot of fun. And, mm-hmm. and it, I'm a pretty creative kind of cat, if I may say so. Right. And, like and I would think you'd have things. to be with, mm-hmm. with, with, when it comes to, you know, library and children yep. and keeping things interesting and fun and absolutely and wanting to, to learn more. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I, I have a lot of fun and I like to, I love interacting with children and, um, I like seeing them learn. Uh, I think it's the educator side of me, mm-hmm. you know, that kind of loves to see them when they get something, uh, uh, understand a topic, if you will. And mm-hmm. then they, you've noted that they grasped it and then it's like, you can just see the light bulbs going off and, you know, the growth there. Mm-hmm. What are some of the, I guess, topics that you see children really starting to, you said something about graphic novels, which is kind of a newer thing now in the book section. Yes. yes. What are other things like that, that you see children really interested in? And I guess 
you know, just showing a, a passion for. Well, you know, I think kids change and kids grow and generations come and go, but there are certain things that kids love. Everyone loves dinosaurs, mm -hmm. you know, and everyone <laughs> loves um, exploring space. Yeah. And then, you know, you have the different series that are popular, like uh, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, uh -huh. you have Dog Man and, yep. and just things like that. So I think something new to the, to the library world is graphic novels, mm -hmm. but also technology. Oh, I mean, you have yeah. like audio books and just videos and, and just things like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For some of us parents that, you know, we're always trying to limit the amount of like screen time or things like that. You just said something like video and things like that. That would still be a good alternative. And it's not something that like, oh, we're just being lazy and oh, kid just watch that video or something. I think it would still be a good alternative for kids to. I think, you know, it's it, I'm a big guy. So I think it's like with eating. Anything in moderation is mm -hmm. good, is healthy. <laughs> can all and so, that. so you know, uh, there's nothing wrong with screen time, but it's just the amount of screen time that one allows their child to have. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're going to have your child in front of a screen, you know, all day, you know, probably not the best choice. Mm -hmm. But if you give them, um, you know, some time on it and or use it as a reward for cleaning the room, doing the yeah. dishes, things like that. I, You know, it's it's a productive thing, but I, I'm a parent and I'm not going to judge any parent that's out there because we all do our very best, best to, to yep. <laughs> get them walking down that graduation aisle. Yes. So, you know, everyone has their own thing and, and that's OK, too. Good. So how long have you been the, the librarian for the children's library? It'll be 20 years come September. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. And you guys are kind of doing a big project right now. We are. We're building a new <laughs> building. It's exciting. I get that. It's so exciting. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm newer to the Columbus area. We moved here, oh, it'll be almost four years. And I am very embarrassed to say we never made it to the library. That's okay. We're not judging. And, but that's something that I loved to do. And my kids are a little older now. I sure. mean, not too old. I'm nine, 11 and, and almost 15. Mm -hmm. But when they were younger, um, we were always at the library Sure. or um, we moved here from Wichita, Kansas. So we were always um, in Barnes and Noble. And okay. a lot of times we wouldn't buy anything. We would just go to the kids section and they had the little train set. So I always loved it. And I think you, you just feel, I don't know. I feel like I feel smart when I'm in the bookstore, <laughs> just around all these books in the library, because there's just all this endless possibility. It oh, really yeah. motivates you to to read, whether I actually will read or not when I walk Absolutely. out of and there. It's, but it's for for a child, it's kind of a magical thing too. Mm -hmm. You know, they can go into the children's area and they can discover something that's of interest to them, mm -hmm. and they can also, you know, discover something that, you know, they may never have thought about as like if they're going into dinosaurs, but yet they discover reptiles or shark, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it can really just broaden their world. Absolutely. In a lot of ways. And I abso absolutely. And I think, I, I, I think that's very true because I mean, I have three boys and I think just like you said, you know, loved dinosaurs from the very beginning. And then that kind of led to reptiles and all those, you know, and other bugs mm -hmm. and creatures. Yeah. And, you know, there's, that's something they're still very interested in until this day, you know, we're always outside and, you know, looking for fish or turtles and, you know, absolutely. Reciting all kinds of fun facts about them that you know, oh, yeah. I never had that interest in. So. <laughs> and, and also people. I mean, there's some really good juvenile biographies that are out there mm -hmm. that are they're short in in mm -hmm. length, and they open their eyes to you know different people like on Frank or mm -hmm. Abe Lincoln or. Uh, Serena Williams, just, you know, yeah. all sorts of different people that they may not encounter in the life they've lived so far, you know, but it, again, it opens their eyes to different experiences and different worlds. Is that the Who Was or What Is yes. series? Yes. Yes. We have, yep. a, we have a couple of uh, series of those that we yep. try to read and things like that. And like you said, they're really good chapter books that they can easily read mm -hmm. or even read to them. Yeah. Oh, the, mm -hmm. they're very concise in the information they give. Yeah. One doesn't have to do a whole lot of digging around to find the information they want. And there's, it has a pretty good storyline. So yes. you want to keep reading I agree. them. Yeah. I mm -hmm. agree. So, and it's funny because all of the books that you mentioned, I mean, Die Ever Wimpy Kid, the Dogman books, those are books that my boys read and oh, we yeah. have and things like that. We started off with Dr. Seuss. Yes. 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 So, and I think it was, um, when my first was born, you know, you get all that spam mail. Oh, yeah. And I got the, um, you know, the introductory, oh, order Dr. Seuss books for your child. And, of course, every ch parent knows, oh, I'm supposed to read to my my, my child. So <laughs> that's right. we, you know, suckered in. I started buying them. And, um, yep, that's how it started. And we just kind of built our little library collection 
oh, from yeah. then on. And um, I think I, that's one thing that I say that we did consistently was that we read to the boys every single night. Mm -hmm. And um, there were books, and I don't know, and I think about when, um, I'm sure you do storytelling and things like oh, yes. that. Mm -hmm. So yep. I do the, I'll, I'll do voices, whether they're good or not. Oh, sure. I'll do voices. And I kind of get a kick out of it. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of fun with, with the voice. You know, what, what you, when you were saying that, you know, there was some apprehension about you doing voices and am I good enough and da, da, da. <laughs> the amazing thing about reading to children is, is they really don't care. Mm -hmm. um, they don't care if you mess up. They don't care if you're not good at it. All that they care about is the fact that you're doing it. Yes. You know, yes. and and I think that's a lot of parents think, I'm going to read to my kids, so I got it up. Well, no, you don't. You just, you be you. Yes, you yes. You love them. You meet them where they are. You're meeting your child, mm -hmm. and you're going to have an amazing opportunity. Yeah. I think, um, except for my youngest, he doesn't like it when I try to do a British accent. <laughs> sure. Which, I mean, I'm probably not very good at it, but I like to try. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so what are you guys doing right now since I mean, they tore down the, current, the, the old library? We're in the process of building a new library, children's museum. City Hall. City. Well, yeah. I'm thinking fun for kids. Oh, yeah. sure, sure, but, sure. And City yeah. Hall's in there, too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so right now you guys are in like in a temporary location, right? We are. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's right across the street? Yeah. It's in the old police station. Yes. Okay. And so what can kids do right now while the, we're willing, waiting for this big... Awesome well, project to get finished. you know, we're in the middle of our summer reading program mm -hmm. and we have activities for that uh, Monday through Friday. Um, we have a lot of activities at Frankfurt Square outdoors. Oh, okay. We have story time in the city council chambers. So, you know, we're, we're still doing programming and they can still come to the library and have a good time, even mm -hmm. though we're kind of in a smaller area. But yeah. I see. We're still open and, and it's, running hard. <laughs> and it's still the, the 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 typical, like you go in and you get your library card, sure. you sign up for a library yep. card and you pick out, um, you rent, you know, check out some books yep. and, um, you know, have to bring it back. But yeah, I still would struggle with getting books turned in. Oh, sure. <laughs> sure. I, I, everyone does. You know, it's, it's part of being a busy parent. And you guys are staying pretty busy over there then. We are. Still, everybody, you have a lot of people coming in and out yes, and a are. lot of activity. Yeah, which is really nice to see. You know, yeah. pre-COVID, we were busy. Then during COVID, uh, you know, things kind of slowed up. And then even post-COVID a bit. But people are coming back. Mm -hmm. You know, people are, lives are going back to normal per se. And, you know, still being cautious in, in how you handle yourself in public, if you mm -hmm. will. But, yeah, people are, they're coming back. And we're excited to see them. Awesome. So for all those, like, list of activities, I'm sure you can go to, like, the uh, Columbus Library, like, uh, website or yes. Facebook page. Yep, yep. And I was actually on there earlier. And I was actually pretty impressed because there was, like, five posts that had just been put up recently. Yep, like, yep. and I'm saying today and as of today and yesterday. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of activity going on, a lot of, like you were saying, a lot of things for kids to, to take part in and to do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, like every, can I explain kind of Please. what we're doing? Okay, yeah. cool. Um, <clears throat> every Monday we have something called Mighty Maker Mondays and it's a crafting day mm -hmm. where families can come in from 10 o'clock until noon and do a, a craft that kind of goes along with the day's theme, if you will. Like we're doing dinosaurs and just different fun things like that. Mm -hmm. Um, we, then on Tuesdays we have our presentations at Frankfurt Square. Uh, those go 10 30 to 11 30 and we have, uh, presenters from the Omaha Children's Museum. Museum. We have wildlife encounters out of Gretna and just different cool things like that. And that's at Frankfurt Square yes, outside? Yes, mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And, and when you go to our website or mm -hmm. sign up, you get a calendar. Okay. And it's all on that calendar for you. Mm -hmm. And then on Wednesdays, that's it's kind of an exciting time because that's kind of our tween program. It's for mm -hmm. those students that just completed the third, fourth, and fifth grades. And okay. so we're we've we've done some really cool things. Um, last week I did a, a program with them called Peanut Butter Jelly Time, mm -hmm. and it was where we spoke about or we learned about expository writing and it, the importance of detailed steps in completing a task. Mm -hmm. And so at the end of it, they had had to write a uh, uh, the instructions for me to make and eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And so it was just, you know, mm -hmm. really cool. And, you know, the first thing one does is, well, you get two slices of bread. Well, how do you do that? 
Well, you take the twisty off, you know. So I when see. they said get two slices of bread, I just ripped into the bag. They're yeah. Like, no, no, you got to do this and <laughs> take the twisty. So it kind of teaches them a little, uh, a nice little lesson along the way. But and then Thursday we have story times. Mm-hmm. Um, we've got really uh, talented guest readers around the community. Oh, really? Who, who come and do that? So we're we're pretty blessed there. And then Fridays we have a movie day from ten o'clock until noon. We show a family friendly movie, hand out some treats, and mm-hmm. just have a good time. Oh, so, and is everything usually taking place, like, it looks like, it sounds like from 10 to 2 or yeah, 10 to noon? typically. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. And on the story time, how old are the kids that are usually coming? Because I'm going to try to convince my kids, hey, let's start doing this again and let's go down there. And, you know, sometimes they think they're a little too old. Oh, sure, sure. No, we, you know, we we have, we've, I've had participants that are um, preschool all the way to third, fourth grade. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the fun thing is, is that, it doesn't really matter the age. If the storyteller's good and the story's intriguing, you're going to hook them. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, we, we get into the stories and we have a good time. And then afterwards, we do balloon animals. So, you know you what? You do. You what, do balloon animals, I don't do, you? yes. And then, <laughs> you know, what kid, uh, no matter the age, doesn't like a balloon animal? Yeah. Yeah. They, uh, they all. We, I think adults like balloon oh, yeah. animals. So <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, that's good. Well, I like I said, I'm very interested because, like I said, I um, – grew up taking my kids to, to, you know, and it's something that is, and I'm assuming all these activities are free. Oh yes. Ma'am. Right. Mm-hmm. And that was the main thing yes. as you're, you know, looking for something free and educational, but fun Absolutely. Um, for the kids to do. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And then, so what are the plans when the building is finally, the new building is finally uh, completed? What are some of the things that you guys are going to be, ha- are there, are there you're going to have there that maybe you didn't have before We're, or enhancements? Uh, yeah. Or? New programming is, Definitely something that we're going to have. Uh, we, we're we going to bring, uh, like, Monday Night Book Adventures was a program that we had before we moved into the smaller location. Mm-hmm. And we're going to bring that back. It's kind of a an evening story time for the families. Uh, Super Sensational Saturdays uh, was a huge uh, success that we had. Uh, that was, It took place one Saturday a month from 10 o'clock until noon. And they just came in and did different crafts and activities. Uh, we offered a winter carnival that mm-hmm. we're going to bring back. Mm-hmm. And we had a lot of participation with that and a lot of people um, enjoyed that. So, yeah, we're going to bring those things back and some different programming. We're going to try to implement more programming for those tweens. Again, those Mm -hmm. fourth, fifth and sixth graders Mm -hmm. and, you know, things like that. So we're excited what's uh, down the pike. Great, great. Well, again, I just think of the, you know, that fun, like, but quiet, but still fun and enriching, like, feeling that you get when you sure. go into like a library yes and yes. so i think that'll be a great i uh, just a great addition to the community here once it's i mean it was already here and then it's enhanced even more so maybe to bring a lot of people that maybe weren't coming oh absolutely because there's gonna be a coffee shop in there too there will be right yes. On, yes. on first floor you got it yes awesome well anything else that you want to kind of <laughs> make sure you we know about here in columbus or we know about you now that we know that you're you know a balloon maker and <laughs> You know, um, I, I've been, my wife and I have been in the community for 20 years and we, we couldn't imagine raising our family anywhere else. Mm -hmm. Uh, we, we commute to Omaha and Lincoln for, you know, little things Things here and there, but every time we're driving around and on our way back, we're like, we're so glad we live in Columbus, Uh, a nice small community. And, you know, it's a gem if you will. (laughs) We really like it. And one of the things we like to do is, uh, now that our kids are a little bit older, we kind of like to take date nights uh-huh. and we'll go to certain eateries and just enjoy some good food. And especially with the different establishments and, yeah. the, and the pubs that are around, it's mm-hmm. kind of a good time to just kind of see what's out there. And, yeah, and, and there's no, it. and there's new commute time. There no is. commute time. That was the first thing that we noticed when we moved here. You're right. Was that there's just no commute time. Absolutely. Anywhere is five minutes, pretty much. Absolutely. But then after a while, you kind of fall into the same pit as, oh, man, I have to drive all the way across town. Yeah. <laughs> but that's okay. We'll do it. <laughs> exactly. Because it's really, it's not that. It's Absolutely not that far. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, well, Brad, thank you so much for being on. Like I said, I was just really excited to have you on and to learn more about, you know, the the children's mm-hmm. library program. Um with the new building coming up, what you guys have going on right now. Cause like I said, I was just on the Facebook page right before we got here just to kind of see what was going on. And there were so many activities and so many just opportunities for kids to do stuff and for families to do things. And I just want to say thank you for enriching Columbus and for providing things for us to do. Hey, it's my pleasure. And, and I've enjoyed it. It's, it's a good ride. So Absolutely. <laughs> right quick. If you had a book, Maybe two or a series of books or something to recommend to parents to, hey, 
you should read this to your kids or maybe hey, parents, make your kid read this, or it should be a good book for them to read, what would you recommend? Well, the there's a series called Owl Diaries. Okay. And it's uh, kind of almost a graphic novel, but not so much. And it um, kind of introduced, uh, especially those uh, new to chapter books, mm -hmm. uh, uh, beginning reader books, if you will. That's mm -hmm. a good series that you okay. know people are liking. The um, I Survived is an amazing series. Yeah, we have those. Um, mm -hmm. And they're, they're always coming out with new ones and different historical aspects of things. And the, the history in those are, they're very, they're, it's accurate. You know, so yes. you're not just like, did this really happen? Did it not? It did take place. And the only fictitious part about it is they have a character as it's going through. But yeah, the, it's, they it's can, an amazing the kid can, the children can relate to. Absolutely. Yes. 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 I know. And sometimes like as an adult, you kind of forget or are a little foggy with what happened at some historical event. Mm -hmm. And I've had my boys correct me like, no, oh, mom, yeah. that didn't happen. I think one was like the Lindenberg. Yes. And I was like, oh, well, yeah, I guess you probably would know more than me. Absolutely. Dang it. All ready. <laughs> Absolutely. And you know, like you hit it on graphic novels, they're, mm -hmm. they're, you know, everyone thinks, oh, they're a comic book. There's so much more. I mean, they're really, they're really good for reluctant readers. They're really mm -hmm. good for uh, students that kind of just want an easy, fast paced book to go through. And, but yet you can get a lot out of it, yeah. you know, and it can, it covers nonfiction. It covers, you know, uh, fictitious things as well. So it's, it's kind of a fun thing to get them hooked and read. I had to read one in college and I thought it was going to be an easy read. And mm -hmm. I think I, pro well, I was a bit of a procrastinator sure. too. And I think I read it to like the night before. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this isn't like a comic book. No. So, yeah. yeah. Right. Awesome. Absolutely. It's, and it's it's fun because, you know, mm -hmm. not everyone likes. For me, I like to read, but I don't like to read thick books. And, so and I think that's if I how... can find thinner text that hook my interest, then I'm all aboard. Yeah. My two oldest love to read. My youngest, not so much. So sure. we've been doing a lot more uh, graphic, you know, or, you know, Diary yeah. of a Wimpy Kid, yep. Dogman books and things like that. And then I've just gotten to the point where I'm reading to him more. Absolutely. And those little chapter books and things like that and re ref refreshing my memory and yeah. of historical events and people. So, well, and the thing is, is when you start, when you start reading to them and, you know, they may not like reading in the beginning, but reading truly is one of those things that as you do it, you do become better. Mm -hmm. And so the, you know, if you start off a little thin book, like something I would read, <laughs> you yeah. can advance into something that's a little more in depth and, and a little more meat to it. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, again, Brad, thank you so much for being on hey, here. Thanks for having me. I hope I didn't scare you too bad. I don't think <laughs> nope. it went too bad. I didn't. No. Yeah. This was, is a cool opportunity. Absolutely. And hopefully we'll have you back, you know, once, you know, you have more things going on or maybe even after the new sure. uh, library is, is up and running. And that would be fun. That yeah. would be great. And I will definitely make it a mission to get out there and, and see the library <laughs> before the end of this summer. Hey, that's okay. And even if you don't, come when we're open. Yeah. Love to have you. Absolutely. Thank you. You bet. Thank you. You bet.